Today we're going to learn how to create collages and collage templates here in Photoshop. So let's get started. What's happening friends? My name's Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography, photo editing, and all of that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now today we're going to talk about how to create a collage in Photoshop, but more specifically how you can create collage templates. Now by creating a template you can do all of the hard work once and then you're set up for the rest of time because you have a template that you can use rather than making a new collage every single time. Now I'm going to be sharing the steps to create a collage template in the tutorial, but if you want to get ahead of the game and skip all that hard work, then I have five free templates that you can download right now, get instant access to those via the link in the description below. By signing up to my newsletter, you'll get instant access to those five free templates with a few tutorials on how to use them and make the most of those collage templates. So make sure to stick around till the end to see how all that works. But as for now, we're just going to start by creating a brand new document, a brand new template, and start creating a three by three grid collage here in Photoshop. So. Let's hop into the program and see how it's done. Here at the Photoshop start screen, the first thing we'll do is create a new document. Now the size of your document is going to depend on what you want to do with your collage, but for this example, I'm just going to create a nice square document that you can pretty much use for whatever you want. In that case, I'm going to go to create new, and then I'll go and change my width and height to 2000 so it's an equal size on both ends. And then I'll change my resolution to 250 so I have a nice high resolution if I decide to print this or something like that. With all of this ready to go, I'll go ahead and click create. And now we'll have a new document here in Photoshop. Now for this collage, I want to make a three by three grid. So essentially there'll be three rows of three images. And rather than having to divide all of this up by eye, you can actually do this very easily with a few shapes. So I'll first go and create a new layer and then I'm going to fill it with my foreground color, which in this case is a teal. I'll just go and make it a dark gray here. And then with my new layer selected, I'll hold alter option and delete to fill that color with my foreground color which in this case is the dark gray. So with my layer filled with my foreground color, I'll press Command or Control T to transform it. And then up here on my settings bar, you'll see a bunch of different options that we have. And this is what we can use to basically size our square to fit the general position of the images that we want. So make sure that your reference point is checked off here. And then you can click on any of these boxes. And in this case, I'm gonna click on the top corner and that's gonna rescale my entire layer to the top corner for me. Now, since I want my collage to have three rows of three images, that means that each image needs to take up exactly one third of my canvas. And how exactly am I supposed to know where that is? Well, the easiest way to do that is with these percent values up here. And by taking 100%, which is the full length of the canvas, I can divide that by three and it ends up being 33.33, which gives us the percent value for our layer. So going to 33.33, and that will rescale that color fill shape to the top corner of my image in exactly one third the size of the entire width. Now to give you a bit of a different example, if I wanted this to cover half of my image, I would go and type in 50% and then that's gonna fill up half of my canvas. And you can rinse and repeat that with any different size. It all depends on how many images you want to add into your collage per row. So again, back to 33.33%, which in my case is going to create three rows of three images and then I'll click the checkbox to commit to that. Now you might be wondering what this shape actually is doing for us, and this is gonna act as the template to clip our images to. So later on in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take your image and apply it so it only fits within this shape. So that means that we need to duplicate this shape over and over until it covers the entire canvas. And that sounds a little bit complicated, but I promise you it's actually very simple. All you have to do is from here, you can either duplicate your layer by pressing Command or Control J, or the way I like to do it is by holding Alter Option with your Move tool selected and clicking and dragging over and it's going to automatically duplicate and move that layer and then it will snap to wherever the middle position is. And now you have two image blocks. While you're doing this, it's important to have your snap feature on. So going up to view, make sure that snap is checked off or you're gonna have a hard time positioning everything properly. I'm gonna do that one more time, holding alter option, clicking and dragging over, and then positioning it in the final part of my row. Now, if you notice here, I have a white line and this is totally common. This will sometimes happen to you while you're positioning these shapes. What you can do is select that layer that is causing the problem. You can nudge it with your arrow keys just by tapping those arrow keys, or you can hold shift and then click and drag out 
with your move tool selected there and it will just reposition that slightly rescale it to the point that it gets rid of that white line and it's so minute that you won't even know the difference. So now at this point we have a solid line that is basically broken up into three separate layers here as you can see. So to make life easy for us I'm going to rename everything to shape one, shape two, and shape three based on their position. So this first one here I've renamed to shape one, the second one I'll call shape two, and the third one I'll call to shape three. Now if you're like me, you might have a hard time imagining what everything looks like when it's just a solid color like this. So you can go and change the color of each layer just by holding command or control, making sure that layer is selected. And then you can go change your foreground color to something else, I'll pick a lighter gray. And then hold alter option and delete to fill your active selection with your foreground color, which is going to perfectly fill that selected layer. So I'm gonna do that one more time, select my layer three, hold command or control, click Click on my layer thumbnail to create an active selection and then I'll go and choose a slightly brighter color and press alt or option and delete to fill that with that light color. Press command or control D to deselect that and now we have three very clearly defined boxes for us. So each one of these boxes is going to represent a different image in the collage. So from here all the hard work is done and we're just going to group these together to make life easy. So holding shift and clicking between your top and bottom layer, we'll press Command or Control G to group them, and I'll rename this to Top Row. Now, rather than going through the steps of creating all these squares again, which would be a serious pain and a waste of time, you can just duplicate this row two more times to fill in the rest of your collage. So, pressing Command or Control J to duplicate that top row, I'll rename this to Middle Row, and I'll grab my Move tool, click and drag down, and then it will reposition itself to match right in the middle like so. And then I can do that one more time, pressing Command or Control J on the middle row, renaming this to bottom row this time. And yep, you guessed it, we're gonna grab our Move tool, drag it down, and position it right at the bottom of our canvas. Now if you're like me and you have this white line between your shapes, all you have to do is click on the middle row. You can nudge it with your arrow keys or you can hold the shift key and just extend out that row by the slightest bit to fill in that gap. Now at this point we have all of our collage complete. It's broken up into three separate columns and three separate rows. If you go into each group, you can see that you have a shape one, shape two, shape three, working itself from left to right. So this is gonna make life very easy when you're going to position the images in your collage. Now, just because I would like these to be different colors again, I'm going to just change the colors of the middle row, just like we did before. Holding command or control, clicking on the layer, changing the color, holding alt or option and delete, and rinsing and repeating that for the rest of the row. So now at this point, our collage template is complete, except we can add a few more things to spice it up before we add some photos into the mix. So the first thing I wanna do is add some lines between each row and each column of our collage. The way I'll go about doing that is just by selecting my line tool here. And by the way, if you wanna learn all about creating lines in Photoshop, I have a separate video covering that very in depth if you wanna check that out. You can hit the card up at the top of your screen right now if you're interested in that. But anyways, with my line tool selected, I'll make sure it's set to shape. The fill does not matter because it's not going to affect the color of your line, but the stroke will. So make sure your stroke is set to a color you would like. Select a solid line option here, and then we'll just click and drag out across the border of your images, holding shift so that it stays at a nice straight line. And then it'll create a line for us on a new layer. If it's a little bit too wide, you can just go to the stroke value and you can just change this to something thinner like so. I'll set that to 10 pixels. And that looks a little bit better to me. So just a nice subtle border. Now to make life easy, I'll select that line layer, press command or control J to duplicate it, grab my move tool, and then I'll just click and drag that down below here like so and now we have two separate lines for our rows now I'll shift click both of these lines press command or control G to group them and I'll call these two horizontal lines rather than wasting time creating two more lines we can just duplicate the ones we just created by selecting a horizontal lines layer press command or control J rename this to vertical lines and then we'll grab our move tool, go right to the corner here till we see the curvy arrow. Then we can rotate that around, hold shift so it locks to 90 degrees, and then we can just reposition it till it's between our different image blocks here. And with that, we've now created a border around each individual image block using our line tools. 
So you might be thinking, wow, this is a lot of effort to just create something that doesn't even have images yet. But the point of this is we've now created a template that you can save for later and you can easily drag and drop photos into this collage for years to come. So if you're happy with how your collage template looks, this is the template that we have for now. We can go up to File, Save As, and then we'll go down to Save As a Photoshop document. And then that's going to allow you to access this exact file later on to drag and drop your images. Now again, if you want to skip this step of the tutorial, I've made life easy for you and made five free collage templates that you can download right now via the link in the description below. So if you like saving yourself some time and avoiding a bit of extra work, then those templates are going to be super helpful for you. So now at this point, let's start to add in our images. Now we can really create the collage because the template and the hard work is done. At this point, since all of our image blocks are separated and easily found on their own layers, all we have to do is drag and drop our photos where we want them to go. So what I'm gonna to do to make life easy is rather than importing all nine of these pictures individually, I'm gonna import them all together into one document. To do that, I'm gonna go up here to File, down here to Scripts, and over here to Load Files into Stack. Making sure that the Files option is selected, I'll hit Browse to find them on my computer here. I'll select my collage folder where I've already added all of my images that I want to make life easy. With all those selected, I'll click Open making sure that they're all listed here. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Depending on how many photos you're using, this may take a little bit longer to download everything, but it's going to basically open one single document and add everything as their own individual layer in Photoshop here. From here, we want to convert each layer into a smart object by right-clicking and going here to convert to smart object. We have to do this individually so that each layer can be resized without any loss of quality when we bring it over into the collage. With all of my layers converted to smart objects, I'll shift-click all of them, I'll press Command, or control G to group them and I'm going to call these two images. With that group selected, I'm going to grab my move tool, click and drag this up and over into my collage document and drop it in there. Now, depending on the size of your canvas, the images are going to either look super big or super small, but all you have to do is do a bit of rescaling. For now, we're just going to drag and drop the photos that you want in certain areas to their according row. So I'm not going to be too specific about it. I'll start with my top row here grab my first three images by shift clicking them and I'll just drag them over to my top row group and then I'll split them up into their individual shapes. So what you want here is to have your photo directly above a shape so then that way you can right click on it and go up here to create clipping mask. So what that will do is make your photo only visible within that one shape. You can't really see it right now so because of all the other images, so let me just quickly turn off those. And now you can see that our one shape here is filled with our image because of the clipping mask. All we have to do now is resize that image to fit within our square. With my move tool, I'll just drag this down to rescale it to something a more suitable in size continue to scale until I have a nice position within my first grid here. I'll click the checkbox to commit to that. And now the first image is placed. All we have to do now is rinse and repeat that process for all the blocks in our image. So here's how to do it one more time. Turning on that image layer that we're gonna use now, I'll right click on that, go to create clipping mask, making sure it's directly above the layer you want it to show up in. I'll then press Command or Control Zero to zoom out, fit that image, that selected image to the screen. With my move tool, I'll rescale that down to fit better within that one square. And then we'll do that one more time with the final image in this row. Command or Control Zero to zoom out, grab the move tool, rescale, and position it where you would like. Now at this point, I trust that you are getting the idea of things and we're just going to do the exact same thing over and over for the rest of the empty spots here in our collage. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to the end result. And with that, we've now created our three by three collage. All of our photos are attached to their specific shapes in each of our row groups, as you can see here. Everything is done with the help of a clipping mask directly onto our specific shapes that we made with the template. And now, as you saw, all you had to do was drag and drop all the photos clip them where you wanted, position it in each square, and you're ready to go. This is my favorite way of creating collages in Photoshop, and I think it saves a ton of time. Now with all of that said, let's say you want to create an 
border around the outside of the entire collage. To do that, it's again very simple. We'll just create a new layer above everything else. We're gonna select the black as our foreground color and then hold Alter Option and Delete to fill that new layer with black. We'll then change the blending mode from normal down here to screen, and that's gonna hide all the black for us. But what we can now do is add a outline to this photo. So double clicking on that black layer, we'll go down here to stroke, make sure position is set to inside, and we'll set the color to match with our grid, which is the white here. And then I can change the size accordingly to make the border thicker or thinner, depending on the look you're going for. So that looks good to me there. I'll click OK. And now our collage is complete. So if you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create collages in Photoshop, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing so you never miss another tutorial. Once again, if you want to speed up this entire process and you haven't already downloaded them, make sure to click on the link down below in the description to get access to those five free collage templates so you can pretty much skip this whole process and just add the photos straight into your collage. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you for today. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.